here we are in episode two and in this episode we're going to be configuring the screen so that it automatically senses when somebody approaches it and it turns itself on and also after a timeout setting which we create it will also blank the screen as well. So now the final automation we need to do is to set the screen so that it automatically senses when somebody steps in front of it and it will automatically turn the screen on and then when they step away after so many seconds or a predefined time it will turn the screen off. So what you first need to ensure before we set up the automation is from the overview screen you need to select settings then from the menu that appears select devices and services and then you should see fully kiosk browser listed in your integrations so click on fully kiosk browser and then when fully kiosk browser screen appears which shows integration entries one device 26 entities and so on click on one device and then from the options that appear on screen to configure the device you need to make sure that under configuration that motion detection is enabled so that should be pushed to the right and be colored blue then you need to also make sure that screen off timer also has a value in it as you'll see I've got 30 seconds in there so when someone steps away from the screen after 30 seconds have expired it will then turn the screen off you can obviously set what time you want in there yourself so once you've made sure that you have those enabled you can then go back to the overview screen then from the overview screen select settings then from the menu that appears you need to select automations and scenes then with the button in the bottom right hand corner click create automation then from the window that appears select create new automation so once you have selected create automation you then need to click on add trigger then when you've clicked add trigger from the menu that appears you need to select state then under the entity you need to select the name of your tablet but it must have motion detection against the name of your tablet so as you'll see I'm selecting Tim's tab A7 motion detection then under the two box where it says two and optional in brackets you need to select on then from the three dots next to the end of the trigger where I'm hovering over select this and select edit ID then under the name of the trigger ID you need to call this motion then again you need to click on add trigger then select again state and then in the entity you need to select the name of your tablet again with motion detection against it so as you will see I've just selected Tim's tab A7 motion detection then under the two and optional you need to select off then from the three dots near the when Tim's tab A7 motion detection changes to off select the three dots and select edit ID then under the name of the trigger ID select no motion so type in no motion then under condition you need to select add condition button 
and then you need to select triggered by and then from the two triggers that appear tick and select motion then select add condition again and select again triggered by and then select no motion then under the action select call service then under the service line start to type in switch dot and then you will see we have switch dot turn off and switch dot turn on now you need to select switch dot turn on and then you will see that targets appear click on choose device and select your tablet then scroll down and click add action then once you have clicked add action choose again call service and then the service you need to select is switch dot turn off so select this time switch dot turn off then under the targets that appear click on choose device and then again select your name of your tablet once you have done this you can then click the save button in the bottom right hand corner and give this the name of screen auto on slash off so screen auto on forward slash off or you can give it a any name you like just something that you can refer to in the future and then click save so then we have the triggers when tim's tab motion detection changes to on and then when tim's tab a7 motion detection changes to off and then under the condition we have when triggered by motion then we have when triggered by no motion and then under actions we have caller service switch dot turn on and then caller service switch dot turn off so this completes adding the automation to turn off the screen automatically on and off when it detects motion near the screen thanks for watching this video don't forget to watch the third episode in this series and it's the last one in this short series and that's coming up very soon thanks for watching take care don't forget to hit subscribe like and bell notification icons hope you enjoyed this video bye for now